This is Thank It Our Squadron's pre-flight video for Silver Air Patrol's 2023 High Altitude Balloon Challenge. The inspiration for our graphic design was the passing of Colonel Joe Kittinger. This patch was created in his memory. The background is dark representing the edge of space. The yellow halo around the images represents generosity and heavenly bodies. The font is white and capitalized so it is easier to read. While we originally created our patch design using images found online, this was solely to establish a design. We used an image from Project Excelsior and another more recent photo. The patch was then traced and colored by hand. The hand-drawn patch was then traced and painted digitally using a paint program called Ibis Paint X. Before coming up with project ideas, we had to ask ourselves, what happens when our projects reach the edge of space? We learned that at the edge of space, the temperature is negative 72 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 100 degrees below freezing. We also learned that at the edge of space, there is mo no moisture in the air, which means that the relative humidity is zero. Our projects do a lot of shaping. This is Carlton. Our high altitude balloon may be seven feet in diameter while it's on Earth, but once it gets to the stratosphere, it will expand to nearly 27 feet in diameter as the gases within the balloon expand, which is caused by a lack of pressure in the edge of space. And radiation is 50 times greater at the edge of space than on Earth. That's dangerously high. We also had to consider whether our experiments fit within the guidelines of the capsule, which included a 40 gram weight limit, items must fit inside the capsule, no liquids, no food that needs to be refrigerated, no live vertebrates or invertebrates, no radioactive material, and no explosive materials. This year we included six experiments in our capsule, two balloons, chia seeds, dental film, batteries, and photo of our legacy ambassador, Colonel Joe Kittinger. Thank you for watching our pre-flight HAB challenge video. All of our cadets really enjoyed working on this project and with the making of this video. And we look forward to seeing the results of our experiments.